Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my Roots of Pacha playthrough. This will be part two. If you've not seen the first one, make sure you go back and watch from the very beginning so you can see how we started and how we got through the first two days in Roots of Pacha. But we're going to continue where we left off from the first one and see what good stuff we can get up to. So it is still early in the morning. Everyone's asleep but us because we're feeling productive. We've got to get out there and provide for the clan. But it is a beautiful morning, look at that. Oh, actually, Mary's woke up. Nice. So we've just got some more carrot seeds right there. So I might actually plant some of those. Let's see how much we've got in total. Six. Oh, wow. Okay. We're going to have to do a lot of watering, though. And we've not even got a well. So maybe we should go and start that quest today. Because I believe we do actually have that one. And here we go. We need to speak to Voda. We should start that pretty fast to help us with watering. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty frustrating going back and forth to the river all the time. Right, let's put these seeds on. Oh, Grandpa's woke up as well. I'm going to have to fill this up. God damn it. We can talk to him. Being the oldest in the clan has its advantages. No one can remember when I was an awkward teenager. <laughs> okay, the dreaded trip to the water. Let's go and collect it. It's not miles and miles away, but it's definitely inconvenient. There we go. Ooh, we've actually got a quest here with the fisherman. For a, a bear totem. I love fishing, but I'm not sure I'm ready for the clan to depend on just me. Could you help me by catching and contributing free fish? That would help me a lot. Of course. Yep. Okay. So right now, you are the only fisherman in this clan? That is crazy. That is a lot of pressure. If I do say so myself, we can definitely help out there. Right, so let's uh, water the crops today. How many runs do I have to do? Let's see how many we, we can water in just one fill. Oh, that's not even half. I'm going to have to do two runs. Two more runs, so three in total. The quicker we do that quest, the better. Because I believe it's going to take a few days as well. Whoever invented sprinklers, oh, I want to shake their hand. I, I, please don't say I've got to fill up again. If we have to do another run, that's going to be horrible. I think we're going to have to, aren't we? Uh, oh my god, just, okay, lovely. So there we go, three runs can fill this entire field. So let's go and start the quest. I'm just going to clear this down here, because this is where I'm going to have all my, like, Product machines. Always good to clear a bit of space around your working area. Otherwise, it'll just, you know, get out of hand. There we go. That feels much better. Let's store away some of the... Oh, we've got a flower. Let's harvest that. Yeah, let's store away some of our uh, things. There we go. Is there anything to forage or collect up here today? Ooh. Oh, there is Voda. Nice. She's literally right above us. So this is what we need to do. I'll talk to her first. Her Ada tells me to listen to my body, but it's usually saying to nap. <laughs> it usually wants to exp explore or nap. There isn't much between. So discuss idea. Taking trips to the river to refill our water skin gets tiring. Yeah, you're telling me. While taking a nap, I heard the sound of water underground. I wonder if there's a way to reach it. There we go, the well. We need 20 stone. Okay. Let's go and get 20 stone quickly. And we can start. It's going to take one day. Hopefully we've got enough stone. I have been trying to gather some. Throughout the days. So we should have enough. The stamina's not very good either. Right, I did just gather 22 right there. So I didn't even need to take them from the chest. Which is good because I can save them for something else. So let's go speak to her while she's still there. Before she runs away, or as a nap. <laughs> so let's go. Discuss idea, 20 stone, research. Come on. If we dig, maybe we can reach the water. But how to contain it? So Voda has begun working on this idea. It's going to take one day. So hopefully that's done tomorrow. And we can actually build that somewhere here. And start collecting water so close to the crops. Now the only problem is our stamina is shot. It is rubbish. So the only thing we can really do today is go and forage and try and collect some things. We can't fish. We do need to collect three of those, but I can't do that today. 
Unless we find some food, but I don't think we're gonna do. So let me just explore around, go in the forest and see what we can gather today. We have got another quest as well though. We've got to go and talk to Oka because we can learn how to tame animals, you know, talk to them and be friendly with them. Get them to earn our trust. So she's normally hanging out down here somewhere. There she is. So let's discuss this idea as well. I'll talk to her first. Uh, Hizu and I like to go over to Ron and Reese's when it rains. It's fun to go a little wild. <laughs> Calm down, Oka. Damn, you're so wild. Taking a trip out in the rain. Okay, you saw those beautiful animals too. They don't seem afraid, but don't pay as much attention either. I heard them react to some bird songs, so I asked Iben to sing when nearby. But her beautiful voice doesn't seem to work. <laughs> I do remember a story about animals that liked music though. So here we go, 20 plant fiber. Oh, we've probably got that already. Right, Oka, don't, don't go. Stay there. We've got another flower there. Nice. We should have this fiber. I've been collecting a lot of this. And there is a ton of it around. I love that when you open the map, you can see the things that you've cleared. So look at the space that we've cleared here. And you can actually see our crops. And it gives you the little icon of what they are. That is so cool. Apparently there's apparently some carrots here as well next to our, our house. Or is that these ones here that we've already gathered? Yeah, we've already collected those. Okay, let's see if we have got 20. Oh, perfect. Already starting two new ideas today, guys. That is awesome. Oh, there's Ada. So we can actually exchange things with her as well. Uh, eventually. But we can't do that just yet. This land makes it so I can keep my medicine box pretty stocked. Let me know if you need anything. So yeah, she's the medicine lady. Now, the thing with this game is, you know, animals can get sick as well. When I was playing for the full release and showing off some of the new content, one of my uh, animals got fleas, so I had to treat it, which was pretty cool. Okay, there we go. 20 fiber research. So we've got two things that's going to be researched tomorrow. Teddy would know the story about animals and music. I'll work on it. Oh, there's one of your wolves. Beckley. Good boy. Let's do some more foraging then whilst we are exploring. There's some tomatoes apparently underneath Reese and Ron's house, you know, the painter. We did collect some seeds the other day though, so maybe there's none left. So I think it's going to be a trip to the forest. I will have a look though, just in case. It's just somewhere along here. Oh, yeah, they're not ready. Oh no, there is. There's two here. Nice, let's go. And there is Reese. I've crafted so many decorations. Let me know if you'd like to see what I've made. So we can actually exchange and buy lots of furniture for our house. Look at all these. So cool. Now these obviously don't cost money, they cost contribution points. Oh look, the fluffy puff brown, the cat cheer. There's so many, I love the mushroom ones as well. But right now we don't even have our own house, so that's going to come eventually. Right, let's go to the forest. Let's do some foraging. Oh, what's one of the wolves doing in the water? <laughs> look at this. Kessler, just having a little paddle, keeping cool. Oh, hello. There does seem to be something special about this land. <gasps> Look at the wolf. He's laying down in the water, just keeping cool. Uh, of course, this is where we can buy all the clothing and the hats and things. I love it. We can't afford anything, though. Soon we will, when our harvest comes and we harvest lots of the fruit and vegetables that we've got. It's going to be a good time. Can we find anything in the forest today no fruit on the trees oh look at the bunnies so cute right there's nothing down there what about oh look see the wolves over there on the island bit oh they're amazing i wish we could actually tame one of those i'm not sure if you can with the wolves but i would love to i don't think there's anything today Oh, well, hold on. We've got some more things here. We've got some beans. Let's go. Bean seeds. Anything that we can get our hands on, you know. And these ones aren't ready. A few more days away. Let's go to the mountaintop and let's see what's up there. Oh, red mushrooms. Okay, nice. These little baby pigs. Right, I've got some more carrots. Plenty of those. Look at these boars. Oh, it's Vuak. I've had the strangest dream. I need to meditate on it. Okay. 
Right, is there anything else up here? Oh, I love these little baby um, Ibexes. Ooh, potatoes! Yes! What's these here? Oh, we've got some parsley. Nice, I didn't even see them before. Wait, hold on. How do I get down here? Oh, do you see those potatoes there? I can't even get them. On the cliffside. That's that's frustrating. I need them. Oh, big red mushroom. Okay, we'll take that. Oh, wow. Okay, we've got one thing ready. The quinoa again. Oh, look at that view, guys. Look at that view. This is my favorite place to come. I love it. Right on top of the forest, in the mountains, up near the mines. Beautiful. But I think that's going to be everything, right? Let's head back home, then. It's starting to get dark as well, so perfect timing. I will just check down here quickly. Because I've seen some things around here before. Maybe it's not in spring, though. Oh, it's super dark. Oh, my God. We can eventually get a light source, some kind of torch, a fire torch. And right now, we've not got it, so it's quite dark. You don't want to be in the woods alone in the dark. Especially with those wolves around. They hunt you in packs. Oh, is that more parsley? Okay, I think it is. So it seems to like to be near the rivers, like like a water source. Probably going to be good for cooking. But right now, I don't can we cook? I don't think we can. I think there is a community kitchen. Let me have a little look. Ooh, another one of those as well. This is the kitchen. Can we cook straight? I think we can. Hold on. Oh, yeah, but there we go. So we've not got any recipes yet. We've not got any of these things that he wants. Okay. So this thing, we need meat and corn. We need some seaweed for that. Any harvest. So it looks like with the parsley and the oregano that we've got, all the herbs, we can't use them for cooking. So it's going to be good just to, to contribute right now. But we do need red mushrooms, though, it seems. So keep hold of those. They're going to be quite good for cooking. I quickly might catch one fish so I can put it on the drying rack and we'll get some dried fish. Can we do it here? Oh, it's getting late. Let's try and get just one. Because we've not got much stamina anyway, so I can only do one. Okay, this will do. Just a porcupine. Yes, let's go. I want to go and put this on the drying rack. So it can kind of produce or dry overnight. So there we go, fish. Three hours remaining. Let's go. Our first thing drying. And that's going to boost up the value of the, you know, the contribution points. This is going to be worth a little bit more. So that's exciting. We didn't hardly contribute anything, did we? 102. Okay. So one of those Detora flowers is 20. That's really good. Good value. But our clan contributed as well, so we've got 1,122. The clan prosperity is going up as well. It's always uh, a good thing. We are becoming more of a clan. We, you know, we are established. Oh, hold on. What's this? The next day, the caves are calling. And energy seems to be flowing in the cave. So I think we couldn't enter the mines before, but now we actually can. The vines or the roots have just been removed from the cave entrance. Looks like we're going to have to start to head down there and explore. And I think it's raining. I can hear the sound of rain. Let me see. Oh, yes, we can. It's beautiful. I love it. Right, no more carrots are ready today. We've got one of those flowers, though. They are 20. 20 contribution points. We're definitely going to gather those. Oh, I love the sound of the rain, guys. In real life and, of course, in games as well. It's really, really therapeutic. So let's. We don't need to water the crops today, which is good because we still haven't got the well. Although it might be finished today, I'm not sure. But look, things are growing. Our dried fish is done. Oh, we've got an achievement as well. It shrank in size, so it's easier to carry and it lasts longer. Yeah, we preserved it, guys. Let's go. So let's go and do the the fish. We'll catch. Free fish for the quest. Oh, look at the weeds growing back straight away. Got to be on top of these, right? Even the rocks, look. I remember playing the alpha version, <laughs> and they grew so fast. Like, every single day you'd wake up to loads of stones and rocks and weeds. 
and I was playing with the developers live and I kind of like mentioned it and I think they have tweaked it which is good so it's not as crazy and overwhelming because it felt like you was constantly just getting rid of weeds it's like real life <laughs> fighting with the weeds you know it's realistic makes sense but it can be stressful so there we go cleared a big space out We've got another one of those flowers I'm kind of keeping all of them for now because it does say they can be used to heal colds like medicine and like I said, animals can get sick. I know they can get fleas, so I'm guessing they can get colds as well if you leave them outside in the rain or in winter or something. So I'm kind of just keeping hold of them, just just in case. But let's go and catch some fish. Is there anything on the little beach here? Oh, we've got a seashell. Nice. Can we use them for anything? You can hear the sea if you put it to your ear. I wonder if they make good gifts, I don't know. I feel like back in the Stone Age days, Giving somebody a nice, pretty seashell would be a good gift. Okay, so these... We just need three fish for fur. So, even if they are rubbish fish, like this, we'll get it anyway. So, come on, fishy-wishy. Boom. We'll get you. Probably going to be all the same fish. We don't have to actually give them to him. I think we just need to, like, contribute them. Let's try a look with just two bars. Oh, we're too eager. Ooh, big fish. Four bars, come on. Ooh, what is this? Oh, we've had it before. We have had this one before. The Tic Tac. New record. If we dry that, that's going to be worth something. There's another porcupine. One more, and then we can contribute those three. Let's see if we can find more Tic Tacs. The big fish. Nope. They're all the same. Oh, fishing in the rain is amazing. They're all porcupines. Look at them. There's so many. That looks like no different fishes come in, so just gonna have to get these. Let's go, let's go, go, go! Catch and contribute free fish. Enter the caves, talk to Oka and Voda because they have finished their ideas. Come on. They're probably going to be inside because it's raining. So let me contribute. Three of those. We're going to dry these ones that we've got. Let's have a look in here, see who's inside. There we go. Oh, they play little music. So there's the idea. All we need is a hole deep enough for the water to flow into and some rocks to contain it. I can call it a well. I made you one with the materials you brought me. Yes. And there we go, guys. We can actually craft more of those now as well. We've got the crafting recipe for this. And we've got one given to us for free. Gel rod is on the flute. Look at that. This weather makes me appreciate the sun. <laughs> Garrick is just dancing away. It's nice to finally see green again. Yep, it was a harsh winter, but we got there. Now right, we need to still find Oka. Oh, what a nice song. I think that's the Roots Apache theme song. Very calming. Right, where are you? Where are you? We can check the map. But I'm just going to like a usual spot. Like a house here. There we go. Come on. Oh, she's not there. Look at the wolves. They're all inside, though. And he's Uzier as well. Ooh, tomatoes. Tomato! Oh, what did she say? She likes to walk over to Reese and Ron's house when it's raining. And she's on the drums. I was right. Tatia told me the story again. Our ancestors Im imitated birds to get close to their prey. With the right whistles, the animals wouldn't run. This made me think of our flutes, the ones we use for rituals and dancers. Some of them sound like birds too. I asked Aker to make this special flute. I'm sure it'll work. And here we go, guys. We've got the flute. We can now play some music to the animals and make friends with them. And then eventually when you are good enough friends, you can tame them and bring them back to your like sheds or barns. And have them as mounts as well. Incredible. 
everyone's inside on this wet, rainy day. So, um, what we can do, let's put these fish into the dryer. Looks like these are doing the same thing, look at that. So, I think we can probably put the well right in the middle somewhere. Um, like here, and can we still walk around there? Just. And then eventually we can dig down here and it's going to be quite even. The soil's wet, so let's see. We have got four more carrot seeds. Let's get those in. And do we have... Oh. Yeah, we do. We've got loads more crops. Okay. Maybe I'll go another row down. We've got tomatoes, we've got some potato. We've got two of them. A bean and a... Oh, look at that. It's worked out perfectly. Every single seed we've got is in the ground. We've got a big, like, garden plot here. Right, fish. So we want to dry two of those. And that. You could do four at a time. I could maybe quickly go ahead and catch one more fish just to max it out. Oh, a fish with four bars. Oh, this is... I think this might be a new one. Yeah, we've not discovered this one, guys. Let's take our time. This one's quite feisty. It gets spooked quite a lot. Oh, there we go. What is it? Oh, it's a Tic Tac. Oh, okay. It's hard to tell because it was dark, but there we go. That's a good fish. Another one that we can dry. It's going to be good value. I think it's too late to go to the mines, right? It's so dark. What the hell happened? Oh, maybe we should go tomorrow. But I've got to do all the watering. I didn't realise the time because obviously we've not discovered time yet. We don't know what time it is. Or time of day it is. And it's got pretty dark pretty fast. And we're not going to get much time up there. So we'll have to go and do that tomorrow. Maybe I'll try and eat something to boost up the stamina. After watering all of this absolute craziness. Okay. We've got the dried fish. Maybe we can eat that. Right, good contributions today. 115 from us. So there we go. One dried porcupine sells for 34. Whereas a normal one is only 19. So it seems like it almost doubles it, right? The value of it. So that's not bad at all. We need to be drying every fish that we catch. But we are on spring five, guys. Patchens can only keep count of the next few days. Until we obviously unlock time. And then we can discover the full calendar. But today, it is Tatia's birthday, which is good. We need to be keeping track of these birthdays as well. So if we go to Pachin's Tatia, it's somebody that we can't marry. And we don't know what gifts she likes, but, you know, it's good to become good friends with everybody. So we need to try and find a gift for her, maybe. It is a birthday, of course. Okay, we did the quest. We contributed three of those. We've got to go and talk to Fro. Enter the caves and harvest four crops. That's all we gotta do right now. There's a dried fish. So eating these gives us 18 stamina. Have we got any crops? <gasps> Guys, our first crop. So obviously we've only been collecting seeds right now, but they are ready, look at this. We've got beans, which stay in the ground, and carrots, yes. So if we go over to our carrots, the knowledge is nearly two because we are obviously learning about them. We've been harvesting them, and you can see now the knowledge going up every time you harvest. Which is really exciting. So let me do the watering. This is going to be so much better because we can fill up right here. Oh my god. That is a lifesaver. Absolute lifesaver. I love it. It's making things so much easier. Oh, we've got a new idea with Gramps. Let's uh, have a look what he wants to say. Life shouldn't be taken too seriously. I'm too old to be tending crops in the field, but I think I can still help. What if I grew plants to harvest their seeds? I could even grow saplings for trees, and then you'll always have something to plant. Oh, the plant nursery. We just need five crops that we've harvested. Let's go. Oh, we need more prosperity. No, we just need to get the prosperity up and we can do that one as well. That's going to be exciting, guys. Tree saplings, we get fruits. And that's as simple as it is with watering, not bad at all. So we can only dry, we can't dry vegetables, only fruit, meat, fish. So we're just going to have to contribute those, but we did need five, right, for that um, quest. So 
I'll keep five carrots away. The rest can get contributed today. Or we can use them for eating. Um, eight stamina. Maybe we'll eat the beans. We've got four and they're not really worth much. So let's do that. Let's get the stamina back up a little bit. There we go. Full stamina. And we can go up to the mines. We need to speak to Fur again because he's going to give us a gift. And he's, he's up near the water fishing. Let's do that before we go to the mines. Right, Mary, forecast. What we're saying? You need us again? Rain's nearby? Mm, you're going to say the same thing all the time? It's so nice to have another fisher in the clan. I made this smoker for you. <gasps> nice. So not only can we dry the fish, we can smoke them. Is that going to be worth more? Surely. Elo jumped in the water, thinking I was drowning. I'll have to warn her next time I go for a deeper fish. Oh, look. He loves playing the flute. He's obviously some kind of musician. <laughs> he loves it. He loves himself as well. Oh, God, you meditate. Is, is this where you meditate? Oh, we found your spot. He's so strong here. The energy is calling us, but I can't tell what it wants. Hmm. What a random spot. Let's dance, guys. Go on, gel rod. <laughs> Love it. It's your birthday today, right? There's been a lot of change lately. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Shall we give you a gift? Shall we give her a carrot? <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, God. She didn't like it, guys. Not this unfortunate attempt at a birthday gift. Oh, it took away her flower. Oh, no. Well, at least we know now. <laughs> she doesn't like carrots. Oh, God. If we have a look. Gifts, wild carrot, hates. Oh, dear. That could not have got any worse. And it was a birthday as well. That was a big insult right there. That's just because I don't know anybody. We tried. We tried. The thought that counts, right? Be grateful. Let's go to the mines. We definitely want to do that today. I do keep speaking about it. Oh, we do already have the torch, guys. I didn't even realise. We start off with it. Oh, I'm a numpty. So if it gets dark, we've got light source. I didn't even realise. Unbelievable from me, that. Let's go find some animals, too. Play them a song. Okay, another beans as well. More seeds. The red mushroom. So we could have the bunnies as pets, but I want an animal that we can have as, like, in the barn and that we could use as a mount. So I might go for an ibex, which they are... Oh, they've got the boars as well. Let's get the carrot seeds. You're pretty cool. So let's go ahead and play my song. Play all of them a song. And there we go. We've got their attention. So now we can do a tune, and we can play the little song. Try and become friendly. This is one of my favorite things to do, I love it. Love that. And there we go, we've got a little heart with them as you can see, so if we inspect, you can only do two of these tunes, I think per week, and eventually, it will become friendly with us. He's warming up to us, he's warming up. Let's do this one as well. Lovely. Hey. <laughs> okay, that's good. We'll keep working on that every single day. And we'll try and get them to be our friend. And there's the Ibex. I need to do these ones as well. Potato. Uh, we've, got any, we've only got the brown one right now. Is there any more different colours? Oh, there's this one here. Let's go.
Yay! Oh no, I'm doing one of the babies. Oops. Okay, so if we inspect, this is a female, which is good because female ibex give you milk, the male ones don't. So we don't really want to work on the male ones just yet. Because they're not really going to contribute anything to our clan other than using them as a mount. But look, it looks like we've actually got some wolves. Oh, you can only play music to animals four times a day. No. He's eating a bone. A wolf, black wolf male. Oh, wow. And then there's the white one as well. So you can only focus on four animals a day. I accidentally played a song to the baby one, which I didn't mean to do. But here we are, guys. We're in the mines. This is where it begins. Now, this is quite puzzling because you do have to try and figure out a puzzle in the mines. So we've got a little spirit animal. Toe. I've got the name of these things. There's a trailer. Different colours. They remind me of, like, you know, the Harvest Sprites in Harvest Moon. Uh, the Junimos in Stardew Valley. This is kind of Roots Apache version, you know? Don, it's okay. Just do what we practiced. I don't remember my lines. Oh, there's Glip. I got this. This is so cute, right? Good. Just don't be overly dramatic about it. I would never. <sighs> the caves are a maze of challenges built by the totems to test you. It won't be easy, but you can do it. To pass their trials, you must first prove your strength by breaking rocks. <laughs> Sorry. Good luck. Okay. So we've got to break the rocks and kind of like find our way down. So we just use the thing that we've got right now. We kind of hit these. Although I think this one's already open, so we can kind of just go straight through to the next one. But now we've got to hit the rocks in order to make an entrance open. We've got to find the right one. Oh, <laughs> look at that one hit wonder right there. And it's appeared. Let's go. Good luck on your trials, Trella. So let's try and find our way through this first stage here by hitting the rocks. I'm going to go with this one. No. Oh my god, look at this. We are so good at this. The second rock this time. And of course we can find... Oh, there's another entrance here though. We can find like copper and... Any quartz, your flint, and all that kind of stuff for crafting. There we go, we found that one as well. So why is... Right, we've got two here. So there's the north one, and there's this side. So let me try this side first. Okay, what is this? You may have proven your strength, but there's more you need to do to impress the owl. Oh, God. Inspect. This power is still out of reach. Okay, we can't do that just yet. Whatever that is. So it looks like we're going to have to go this way. Okay, this is quite a big floor. Let's see what they're saying. As, you, as sure as a tree is sturdy, our relationship will produce greatness, Trella. Matching the symbols on the statues to my paintings was Don's idea. But I'm extra proud of the pine cone and pomegranate I drew for this one. Glip just wants to make sure that that stays a secret. Oh, never mind. So this is some kind of puzzle. So we've got the uh, pine cone and pomegranate. Remember those. We're going to probably need to remember that. Let's try and hit the right one. Come on. Stamina's okay. Not great. We can eventually get like a hammer to help us. There we go. The entrance is open. Was there anything else this side? Was there another entrance that we needed to break? Don't think so. Let's go further. We do eventually get a map down here as well to help us. Oh, okay. So, we've got our first statue or totem. Before asking for favours from the totems, you first must offer your friendship in the form of a gift. Hints are painted on the walls. Okay, so just like we said, this one's going to be a pomegranate or a pine cone, which we don't have yet. Oh, no, this is unknown. So, yeah, it looks like we probably can't offer those gifts just yet anyway because we don't even have them. So if we inspect this, as you can see, it looks like we've got the pomegranates, the pine cones. What are these here? Are they coconuts or something? But there we go. I believe that's all we can do for now. 
So let's try and find a pomegranate and a pine cone. The pine cones are here. Oh, there we go. They were ready. I thought you had to chop them down first, but no, you can just click on them. That's lovely. Easy. And the pomegranates we saw on the trees. Oh, we need the torch. But they're not ready to harvest yet. I'll show you which ones they are. At least we've got the pine cones, though. I think it's these ones here. Are they ready? Oh, guys, they were ready. The wild pomegranate. We've got one. Oh, my God. We got the two things I think that it was asking for. We'll try that again tomorrow and see. But yeah, they are ready. They had flowers on yesterday, so... That's good to know. That's good to know. We passed out. But it doesn't matter, because I don't think nothing happens. All the prosperity is enough for the, uh, the task now. The idea that we have to do with Gramps. So there we go. We contributed a few things here. Two carrots... Look at the dried Tic Tacs. They are worth good, good contribution points right there. Amazing. We're currently on 800. We're getting there. It takes a long time, right? Oh, what's this? They're building a bridge? Are you sure? The energy is too strong to deny. Where does this go to? Is it good? The energy? Is this where he was meditating? Oh, maybe this is opening a new way down here. I can't tell. But I know it's important we go to that side. <gasps> okay, we're building a bridge. And then we'll find out. Is that going to unlock a new area? Let's, we need to see the map. Whereabouts that were. Oh, yeah, look. Unlocked. Hmm. Interesting. That's going to be exciting, though. Maybe Patcher wants to call us over here to find new paints. A girl can dream, can't she? <laughs> I don't know much about spirits, but I trust Vuek. At least we're not travelling for a season this time. The more I meditate, the more I think you need to join us when we cross the river. Yeah, I'll get there. There's plenty of stuff on this side of the river. But if Jin says we need a bridge, I'll build it. The builders are at it. <laughs> what, what is she painting it for? You don't need to paint a bridge. Oh, we've got a, another blue sh seashell here. Oh, not enough space. Okay, so let me go and store some things away. Got a few things that we need to do. Before we wrap this episode up here. So let's discuss this idea. We need those five crops. Uh, okay, let me just store some things away. Look how many pine cones we got. So let's grab those. Can we dry these two fruit? I'm sure we can. The pomegranate. Yeah, we can. Nice. We need to water as well. We've got some more carrots though. Achievement. Green form. The knowledge has increased to two on the carrots. Look at that. That's exciting. They're looking a little bit different as well. It will grow and yield carrots only once after four days while in season. So now we know a bit of information about it. But we can find out more the more knowledge we get up. Let's discuss this idea then. Let's research it because we've got enough prosperity now. And this is going to be a plant nursery. He thinks it can help us get more seeds. Let's go. It's very thoughtful of you, Sharky. I'm going to think about what makes plants grow the best. Don't laugh if you see me singing to them. <laughs> so a new idea is begun. I'm quickly going to water all these ones. Oh, this thing literally empties so fast. Now, we do have more seeds that I should probably get down. Let's see what we've got. Um, of course, we need to get this down as well. The smoker, so we'll do that. But I've got two more beans. I'll put together with those ones. I've got another tomato. Three more carrots. Quinoa. And potatoes. Basically, got all the seeds back up again. Look at that. We're empty. No seeds left. So we're going to contribute a few things here. And I'm going to try and head back up to the mines and see if we can sort out that puzzle. Let's uh, contribute all of that good stuff. And obviously we can play the flute to the animals again. Work on that relationship. We get more pine cones, why not? In fact, I forgot to grab the pomegranate. Is there going to be any for us? Or do I have to go back? Damn it, please be one. 
Oh, there's none on the bushes. We're going to have to go back and grab one. That sucks. I forgot. Where's a mount when we need one? All right, let me have a little look. Let's play this song for this one. This is the one we're trying to tame right now. Let's not mess up. Nice. Oh, Ibex trust you now. If only we had a place for the animals in our clan. Oh my god, that was quite easy. But I've got a new idea as well, so we're going to have to build a barn, guys. Oh my god. Look, we're going to have our first one. So we can invite him once we get it. We can inspect. Um, we can actually rename this one. Oh my god. I don't, what should we call you? Um, you look a little bit like an Oreo. So I'm going to call you that. We got Oreo! And you're gonna produce milk, you know? Oreos and milk go so well together. Love that. That's amazing. Now, we've also got to go up to the boar. Right, what about this? Are you female? No, you're male. So I don't really wanna tame you just yet. Only if you wanna breed, you can do that in this game. You can, like, make the uh, animals mate and have babies. I'm gonna go back there and get the pomegranate for the mines. Oh, look! This is done. The dried wild pomegranate. Oh my god, that looks so different. Looks nice though. And then we'll take that one. Let's contribute these dried ones. They are worth not much at all. So a wild pomegranate is worth six, and you dry it, it's worth seven. <laughs> that's pointless. And I think that's because the knowledge of it is not high enough. Oh look, Oreo loves us. Soon we will invite you. Who do we have to talk to for that one? Kroll. Yeah, he's the builder, right? Our animal friends seem to miss us when we're gone. Kroll thinks he can help. It takes us so much time to travel to the known lands. Oka might have an idea that can help. Ooh. The white felt patch of calling from across the river. The clan is helping build a bridge. So this is the clan getting together. They do like their own things as well. Let's go say hello to our little boar friend. I think it's that one there. We'll find out in a second. Potato! So it's this one down here, because he responded nicely to the song. Uh, you are male, but I don't think it matters if the boars are male or female, because you get fur from them, not actual milk. So this is a grey boar. The grey one looks similar to the ibex that we've got. But we are closer friends with it, so let's just get this one for now. Let's play your song. Oh, look at the view in the back as well. Yes, he trusts us. Let's go. Oh, we need to... What should we call him? Oh, my God. A grey boar. Oh, I have no idea. You guys have to let me know in the comments what you want me to rename him. Because right now, I'm going to save that. Because I have no idea. Now, we do have two more songs that we can play. So, I think we should focus on one of the wolves that we can have as a pet. Now, we've got a grey one here, which I like. Oh, it's a brown one. I think I'm going to go with this. Yeah, this white wolf, sorry. Oh, the black one's cute as well. Okay. We did it. Play that little song. So, one more with a white wolf, and these should be uh, friendly towards us. A brown mushroom here. Let's go and offer the pomegranate and the pine cone, and hopefully that is enough. I don't really know how the mines work properly, so let's see what we can do. Put a torch on for this. So we've already made our way through now. So that's... I don't know what this yellow one is, though. Right, honor this totem with what is desires, and you'll be deemed worthy of its attention. So that's the painting. So can I just, like... Offer. Okay. He accepts the offering of the pomegranate. Are you ready to start the challenge? Oh, is it just needed one of them? Okay, not all of them. My bad. Uh, yeah, let's accept the challenge. This trial tests your observation. Try to keep count. Oh, no. I hate stuff like this. I have no idea what I'm looking at here. I think there was five different colours in total. 
Uh, there's an OB, yeah. How many of us did you see? Yeah, I'm sure there was yellow, pink, green, and then I saw a blue, and there was another one. I'm sure there was five. Let's go with that. Yes! We'll beat an adult totems in no time. Achievement done. Let's go, guys. You're not supposed to tell the Trella that. We should just admit it. You see, Trella, a totem has their own rite of passage, and this is ours. If we're able to help you through their, their, these trials, we can show the others that we're ready to serve Patcher too. But don't think we'll go easy on you. We're being tested too. So good luck, Trella. <laughs> I love them. And there we go. The new way has opened. More challenges await through the door that just opened. Farewell, Trella. The only problem is it's super late right now, so I can't continue in the mines. I'm going to have to head home. But in the next episode, we will continue further and explore deeper in the mines. So that's exciting, guys. But right now, let's get out of here. We did the first trial, and the deeper we get in the mines, the more resources and good stuff we can find as well. Oh, just... Oh, look at this prosperity going up. We've got good contributions today, and we did 280 in total. We've got quite a few stuff here. Nice, nice. The save. Oh, and we are entering Spring 7. Another achievement, a person of note, I love it. But guys, that is where this episode is going to end, part two. Stay tuned for part three in a couple of days, and we're trying to get these episodes out as much as possible. Thank you all so much for the support. And if you really want to see more of this, please do smash that like button and let me know in the comments. The more interaction you give on these episodes, the more I will put out, guys. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. But until then, I'll see you on the next episode, guys. Stay cozy.